I'm outside rocking the Nike Air Max 1 Big Bubble. I've been wearing this shoe for a while and I'm gonna tell you my thoughts right now. So this is truly the sneaker that started it all. This was the original Air Max 1. The big bubble was actually what was produced by Nike designers before they actually released the Air Max 1. The reason being that they didn't go with it was because the big bubble technology actually didn't work in cold weather. Now in 2023, the Air Max 1 big bubble has officially hit the shelves. And y'all, I've been putting this sneaker to work ever since I got it. I got some thoughts, but let's start with three key differences between the Air Max 1 big bubble and your regular Air Max 1. So let's talk about the elephant in the room, the bubble. Now you can see that with the Air Max 1 big bubble, you have definitely an oversized air unit working here. Whereas with the traditional Air Max 1 air sole unit, you can see it's a little smaller, it's not too visible for you to see like the Air Max 1 big bubble. The other difference with it is that there seems to be more cushioning going on with the Air Max 1 bubble. And I will say, walking around, going to the store, doing errands, even traveling to work in these, you can definitely see a difference in comfort with the big bubble versus your standard Air Max 1. The second difference is actually the toe box as well. The toe box on the big bubble is a little wider so your feet can breathe a little better. That was actually one of my complaints when I first started wearing Air Max 1s in my true size. I felt as though the toe area was a little snug on my feet and I felt like my toes couldn't really breathe. But with the Air Max 1 big bubble and the toe area being a little bit wider, there definitely is more comfort to boot there. And then the third difference, I would say is more aesthetic things that you might not notice if you really don't pay attention to it. So on the tongue, you can see that the Nike Air Max 1 logo is a little different from your standard Nike Air Max logo that you see on an Air Max 1. Unfortunately, I don't have my standard Air Max 1 pair. I had to pack that away, I'm moving. So I have the Bata Air Max 1, but you could see, typically the logo takes up the entire tongue tag. With this one, you only got three quarters. And then the other difference aesthetically is inside of the shoe, they've actually written out the size in the Air Max 1 Big Bubble. So for me, I actually got the women's pair of the Air Max 1. There's a size 12 for women written on the shoe. I'm a size 10 and a half, typically true to size in Nike sneakers. So that's why you're seeing 12 and not 10 and a half. So you heard me mention about the comfort that the Air Max 1 Big Bubbles got and I really do think that this is a comfortable pair of sneakers. Honestly, I kind of want more Big Bubbles, y'all. I am hoping that Nike releases a royal blue version of this shoe. That one is something that I don't have in my collection in a standard Air Max 1, but if it's in Big Bubble form, I will be here for it. These sneakers are just so comfortable to wear. They really feel light on your feet. They're not heavy. So if you're a little skeptical about the big bubble, I say throw it out the window, y'all. This is a sneaker that you want in your collection. Believe me. Lastly, in terms of sizing, you heard me mention that I went in my true to size 10 and a half, and that is exactly what I would recommend with the Air Max 1 Big Bubble. Just because it's a little different technically, a little different aesthetically, and maybe a little bit more roomier in the toe area, for me at least, I think you should still go your true to size. I don't think you should go a half size down. I don't think you should go a half size up. Stick to your true size that you typically wear with Nike Air Max 1s, and you'll be totally fine.
So my battery's about to die. I'm about to wrap this video up before the rain gets here. Let us know what you think about the Air Max One Big Bubble in the comments section down below. And if you want to see more Air Max Ones that we've reviewed on the channel, check out this video right here.